it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today I'm going to be using my Birds and Blooms magazines because I love these magazines. Oh my gosh, the pictures. If you love nature and flowers and birds and bugs like butterflies and stuff, you'll love this magazine. I absolutely love it. And I'm really grateful that I think I have one, maybe two uh, people who have gotten me a, ooh, that was bad English. You know what I mean? Uh, who have given me a free subscription to Birds and Blooms, which I'm so grateful for because it is my absolute favorite. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm going to be using a board book, which is one of those little cardboard books you can find for little kids. I get mine at the Dollar Tree because, you know, it's affordable and I'm just going to be ruining it anyways so i got a smaller board book you can get bigger ones i prefer to get ones without holes and like stuff like that just because i don't know i just do um so anyways i got this size i thought it would be great it's about four and three quarters by four and three quarters so i did a glue crew video this morning practicing my on-camera appearance oh my gosh you guys it's so hard for me but it was great. Uh, Sherman made an appearance and they helped me prepare for this video and kind of pick up my craft room a little bit. So after that, I went and I fussy cut all the images that I harvested with them. And I have some words and I have some caterpillars and butterflies and stuff like that. So let's rearrange. Um, I'm going to put all my words over here. And then I'll put fussy cut things over here because I have lots of those little tiny, like I even fussy cut out. Oh my gosh, I can't pick it up. A little tiny hummingbird. There is a lot of hummingbirds in what I harvested today because the issue was about hummingbirds. One of them that I, that I cut out. So there are quite a few of those, but you guys know that I love hummingbirds. So then I also cut out a bunch of little square items. I think I kept all the squares over here, all, all the big ones at least. And then let's see, let's put those over there. I like to keep my fussy cut things separated from the square things. It just is how I work. Um, I kind of want to mix, like put all the flowers in one spot. I think that's what I'll do. Flowers over here, bugs, birds, fussy cuts over there. Here's some more words that I cut out. Some more little tiny hummingbirds, some more squares. Got some robins, and I cut out this little tiny robin that was like sitting in some water. And, oh wait, why am I putting you over there? You don't go there, you'll go over there. And look at this caterpillar. Oh my gosh, is that not gorgeous? I love it. Okay, so squares, words, fussy cuts, flowers that are also fussy cut, but I want them separate. Okay, so words will go last, we'll put those over there. So I have smaller squares, which will go on the pages, but also bigger squares. And the bigger squares will kind of cover the page and then allow me to kind of glue on top. So how should we do the front? How should we do the front? I mean, I could just put like this whole page. <gasps> Amazon's here, glue crew, they have arrived. The glue crew, no. The glue crew know what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to have Jackson go out there and get my Amazon for me. Okay, like that. I'm just cutting off those words because I don't, I mean, I guess I could have glued over them. But what I'm going to do is just glue this right on here. Yes, I love that. Okay, let's do that. So... In the past when I've done board books, I've done a couple things. In the beginning when I started doing these, I would peel off all this like imagery, imagery and stuff. You can just peel your book. That was so tedious. Some books they peeled off like a charm. Other times they just were not peeling and it was so frustrating. So I ended up just not peeling the surface off. You can also add paint over the top of your pages or gesso if you want like a a solid base without the images behind it. I'm just gluing right on it. And I am using my glue stick because I mean, come on, it'll work. It's a permanent glue stick. It works great. Plus you're 
uh, gluing magazine images, so uh, it'll stick really easily. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my cover over, and let's see, how do I want to do this? I kind of want to keep most of the bottom there, and I think I want some of that bird to wrap around, so I'm just, there, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> I had to think about it in my head just a little bit. Okay. So really, really press on those edges. You can use any kind of tool that you find helpful. Um, when I'm using magazines, oftentimes a paper or a washcloth works a lot better. So I think I'm going to wrap this side around, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Oh, Amazon. So you can just cut around this or you can use um, an X-Acto knife, but with board books, it's so easy. Just butt your scissors right up against the edge there and it's so easy to cut. There we go. All right, now I'll do this side. Now the reason why I'm not cutting this is because I'm gonna wrap this around in a minute, but I wanna cut it first because that's easier for me. Thank you, lady. Oh my gosh, what a cute girl that's delivering my packages right now. She has little pigtails in. Cute. But she's wearing the shortest shorts I've ever seen. I don't think that's appropriate, but you know, whatever. You do you, girl. I mean, appropriate for work and also it's really cold and rainy today, so. Like she just hopped up on her truck and I could see her booty cheeks. Holy. Okay, so now I'm just going to close the book, and there we go. Thank you, Boo, for delivering my package. I need to go grab that before any kind of troll tries to come up and steal it off my porch. I'll be right back. Okay, got my packages. Okay, so now that I cut those, let's glue this really quick. And I'm just going to take my, my glue stick here. Kind of bend that back for just a second here and just a little bit here all right we'll just fold that over give it a little pressy poo there we go perfect now i just need to cut these and i just go like that and trim it oh so easy same way cut and cut. Okay. So now I have this wrapped around and that'll be a really cute cover. Glue stick, you go over there. Okay. Just going to give this one little press. Now a secret. Okay. A little tip I have is I keep a file nail file here. And if you just go like this at an angle on your edges, it'll smooth all that excess paper off that if you didn't cut it exactly against the board. Be gentle though, because you can really like shave into your book. So I just go like this and it just makes everything stick really well. And if you have some pieces like maybe on the edge here that you weren't able to get very well with scissors, just use this and it just makes it flush with the board. So there, now it looks a lot smoother. Let me get this side a little bit. There, oh, that looks so good. Okay, now I think I want to add, what do I have anything that says like, ooh, I like this. Connect with nature. And then maybe I should add like, I could add this here and then put that. Oh, cute. I also have this, but this might be too big. Yeah, I don't want to cover the whole bird. So let's glue this. I'm going to use everything I just spent an hour cutting out. <laughs> Isn't that the case? Like, I like to fussy cut more than I dislike it. But sometimes it seems like you spend all this time fussy cutting and then you go to have a glue session and like you use it all within like 10 minutes. And you're like, no, how did I use everything so quickly when it took me forever to cut it out? 
Okay, let's do that. And then add connect with nature. Super cute. I definitely will need to fussy cut out a few more pages or maybe um, another magazine or two because I want to do this whole book um, like birds and blooms type stuff just because I think it's it's fun and cute. I do have this little hummingbird I could put right here or whatever bird this is not a hummingbird or is it? It looks like it. But maybe I should save these for, okay, Clinger, what the heck? There we go. Okay, so that looks cute. Should I ink the edges of this? I think I'm going to go in with my teal. Why do I say I think? I know I am. I'm doing it. Stop saying that, Nicole. Okay, here we go. Teal. And I just feel like this will, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, that was a bit aggressive, but I really like the way this teal looks with the green. It looks so good. Okay, I obviously still need to cover the back, but like that's the la the last thing I feel like doing today. I want to actually play, you know, do all the other stuff. I can cover the back another time. That's easy peasy. Okay, so we got that little cutie. There's the cover of my board book. Okay, opening it up. That's okay, there's gonna be a little crease there because it's a board book, it has to. Now, I have some pages like this where I could cover again the whole page, but then I have smaller pieces where I could, you know, kind of do like a, a big random style, you know, where I add a bunch of different squares and that sort of thing. It's like here's bird so maybe that's what I'll do on the on the this first page here is just kind of glue a bunch of squares down that'll be fun similar to grid gluing I guess but no space in between if that makes sense so let's start with the gladiolas man my gladiolas they they're my favorite time of year when they finally bless us with their presence but then they're here for like two weeks <laughs> they go so fast it's like, where'd you go, boo? I miss you. I have a lot of these colors too, of, of um, gladiolas. Ew, I don't like this magazine I'm using to glue on. Okay, I'm gonna put, do I have something that's square that's not, ooh, let's put some caterpillars. <laughs> That'd be cute. Let's add some of those, or maybe I'll put it up here. That way I could have you know, a smaller square here and up here versus here, then it would be small, 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 small. Does that make sense? I hope so. I hope you guys get my, my logic. Ooh, I have this side too, though. No, I want the caterpillars. I want the creatures. It's a three-day weekend for people here in the United States. Bob's very excited. He tried to, <laughs> he's sitting down yesterday trying to do a meal plan as you guys can tell, we love to cook together as a family. Well, Bob doesn't always do the cooking. Sometimes he'll grill, but normally Andrew grills. Um, but sometimes Bob will while Andrew and I are working on things in the kitchen. So I always say, you know, I have two boys. Andrew helps on the inside of the house with stuff, and Jackson helps with the outside stuff. Although he'll help in the kitchen if he needs to. Okay. Um... You need to stay down, my brother. Please stay there. Okay. So we have that. Now I have, does this fit right here? Oh, it does. Okay, so let's put that there. This is a trust the process situation. Hang in there with me. It'll look cool when I'm done. And this is a great like weekend project because this book, I specifically picked one that wasn't too large um, in size as well as didn't have a ton of pages. So it's just a great little fun project for a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Like I'm obviously picking, um, to do mine with kind of a theme. I'm doing the birds and, um, birds and blooms magazines, but you don't have to, you know what I mean? You can make it random or you can use paper. You don't have to use magazines. You can use actual paper if you want. Um, but I just, I love working with magazines and I love this particular magazine. So 
this is the route I'm going, but definitely feel free to use ephemera, scrapbook paper, all that stuff and all that jazz. All right. Let's give that a little press. Okay. Now, next, I need to move this square. It's messing with my feng shui. All right, here we go. Um, I want to add a little bird. I'm going to put this one on this side because green, green, I want something breaking that up. So let's do that. Oops, it's garbage day. So you guys are going to hear the garbage man in a minute here. I apologize. Okay. I'm super excited to see what the glue crew said about my video today. It's so hard practicing being on camera, but you they're so encouraging. So I feel a lot better about it. They've really um, helped me quite a bit. So I'm hoping to be able to start filming on camera eventually on my channel. Oh no, I just stuck. Don't you hate it when you put your magazine piece down on already glued surface and then sometimes it takes the magazine image off? I hate that. Thankfully it didn't happen, but I did glue it on this and okay. Thankfully it didn't take the image away though, but now my image is sticky. Glue booking problems, glue booking problems. All right. Hello garbage man, have a great day today. Looks like he was a veteran. I'm guessing he was. Thank you for your service if you are. Okay, what else do I have that's square? Do have this bird I could put up there down here i also have a flower i could cut this and make it a little bit smaller where's my little trimmer love this dude i should give my little trimmer a name bartholomew i need you <laughs> oh that's funny Okay. Isn't that the name like in the the movie um, Overboard? Doesn't she say that? Bartholomew. I don't know why that popped into my head. The original Overboard movie. Maybe not. I don't know. That, that did. That popped in my noggin. Okay. So we have that there. Now I just need to fill up this spot and this spot. Let's find something for here. Ooh, I have this. That's a lot. I have a lot of green background here. Ooh, I have um some robins. Let's add some robins right there. Can't go wrong with some robins, right, Dad? Ever since my father passed away, I've been getting a ton of robins in my backyard. It's crazy. Okay, there we go. Ooh, this is looking good. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. So fun. I love it. Okay, so I have this spot here because I was thinking that maybe I had something that could work there and I do not. That's fine. I like this. It is a miracle to watch them change from a caterpillar to a butterfly. I might put that right there. Ooh, I like that. I'm just going to glue that now because I already like it. Normally I save the decorating part until I'm done with the page, but I like this, so it's happening now. There we go. Okay, that's cute. Still need something right here. Um, what does it say? Enjoy all you love. Could put that there, but I need something in this little corner. So let's take have this little scrap piece here um, from one of the magazine pages and I couldn't bring myself to cutting and I want to cut out this bird so I think I'm just gonna cut off his tail just a little bit sorry there little dude and let's glue this on there actually I think I'm just gonna glue right on here because that's there we 
go. And I'll go this way. That way I get more of the yellow. You aren't even really gonna be able to see that. And then I'll glue this. And I'll put it like that. And I just need to cut this off. Still have time to move that up a little bit so that works out. Okay, perfect. All right, I need to go let Zena out. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh my gosh, there's this guy. <laughs> you might be able to hear it. He's riding by on a skateboard with a big bag of beef jerky and he's going to this coffee shop that he goes to. I see him almost every day recently. <laughs> going to this coffee shop on his, on his uh, skateboard. Okay. Poor guy has no idea that I'm just like, hey, <laughs> I know you. You don't know me. <laughs> I see you every day. Okay, so I have all these. Now, let's add some fussy cuts. I was thinking... No, I already have caterpillars on this page. I mean, I have a lot of stuff on this page, but I have like the circle I thought I could add. That might be cute, right? Let's add a little... A little something, something like that. What else do I have? Oh yeah, I have this big bird. Could add the bird. Should I? Should I? Should I? Should I? I kind of feel like I want to. Yeah, let's do it. Let's add the bird. Okay, Bartholomew, you are just in the way, my friend. You need to move. I'm sorry. Okay, let's do it. Uh, my sister posted pictures on Monday. My nephew, I just ripped its leg off. Okay, we'll have to do some cosmetic surgery. Anywho, my sister and her son, oldest son um, had their first day of school. And it was so cute. It just, you know, do you ever look at like your nephews and you're like, how, or nieces, whatevs. And you're like, how in the world... Are you this old? Like, how? When did this happen? I'm not okay. <laughs> Just, I don't know. It's crazy. And my goddaughter is going into kindergarten. Like, what? She went and met her teacher yesterday for the first time. They had like a little open house type situation where you could come in and meet your teacher and stuff. And that was great. She's super excited. She had a great time, which I love to hear. I'm really glad about that. I kind of want to add this little robin right here just because I don't like that. Oh, wait, what's this? I could add this little butterfly right here. I'm really hiding almost all of that flower. Hmm. No, I could put it over here, though. I don't know. Okay. Um. What else do I have here? I don't want to use everything that I just cut out right, right now, but, ooh, that looks good too, doesn't it? Let's put that there. Or do I want to put a bird? Let's try a bird real quick. Hold on. Stay with me. I know. I'm all over. You know what? I'm going to add the hummingbird instead. You cannot go wrong with a little, oh my gosh, I almost said a little hummer. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Nicole, you're an adult. Stop it. You're acting like a teenager. <laughs> so immature. Okay, there we go. Oh, that looks so pretty. Okay, I love that. I could put this right here. Oh, I like that better. Okay, let's do that. This is so fun, you guys. So fun. And especially great for like kids who are collaging because it's just very easy. You can even um, keep the book as it is and collage around the people or whatever. Okay, so where did my, here it is. So here's the other thing too. You don't even have to cut. See how I have this corner here of extra paper? You literally can just use your nail file and it'll come right off and it's a perfect cut. So you don't even have to use scissors if you don't want to. That's my tip to you. You'll absolutely love it. I guarantee it. 
I guarantee it. Just all the way down there. You can also go like this, make sure it's nice and flat. There we go. All right. Well, this is looking really cute. I definitely want to add um, maybe, how about this? Ugh. What is this lady doing? Why are you stopped in front of my house? What's happening? Did you hit something? Now she's walking back down, back down the street. She got out of her truck. What? Why are you in the middle of the street, lady? Now she's running. She's like a little old lady. Well, not little old lady, but older, not elderly. She has glasses on. She's, I wonder if she just has to go somewhere and she's running late. Okay, I would put this right here because I do like it. However, it's so close to this. So I kind of think, um, hello. Okay, now I'm nosy and want to know where that lady's going. <laughs> she wasn't acting like there was anything wrong, just so you guys know. So everybody's like, why don't you go check on her? She's not acting like anything's wrong. I'm just nosy and want to know what the heck she's doing. <laughs> Oh, she's back. Ma'am, what are you doing? Maybe somebody's having a garage sale or something right around the corner. You know what I mean? And she just was driving by, looked down the street and saw, and then, well, right. Well, whatever she needed, she's done. She was about to bounce. And she's off. Bye, lady. Okay. Well, I think that's really cute. I think I'm going to leave that as is at this point. Um... That's cute. So let's ink around it because I'm really enjoying putting the teal ink because that's just so cute. And you can find these board books also at um, like, uh, oops, I am not, I did not cut all my paper off yet. I need to do that first. This right here. Got it. Okay. Is there any more? Let's see. No, I think we're good. Well, maybe a little bit right here. There we go. Oh, I forgot that corner. Are you guys yelling at me? I forgot this corner. Boop. Comes right off. So easy. Okay. All right. Now we can ink. I went around all my edges. And I totally forgot. Oh, yes, you can get these board books. Look at some of your, like, uh, Goodwill or Salvation Army or any kind of charity type shop um, and find these books. Garage sales. People just give them away, too, you know, because kids have a dime a dozen. You know, they always have so many of these. Go. Oh my gosh, this blue just is magic. It's bringing everything together and I just love it so much. Yes, I'm a nut. For glue booking. So cute. Look how that just gives it this like glow all the way around. Isn't that just precious? I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm going to leave that as is call it a day. I have these two. Now my board book is going to pop up just a little bit at first. Plus I added, you know, some thin magazine paper there. So it doesn't make it bulk up too much, but it will a little bit, but you can just put it down, add a book on top and you'll be totally fine. I do want to add a little, okay, now this lady's coming back and now she's in the middle of the street and another car's in the middle of the street. What is happening? Do I need to go outside? Okay. She's going around the other car. I'm just giving you guys a play-by-play -play -play too if you're nosy. Okay, but then the other car went, so she really didn't need to go around. There must be something like going on around the corner or something. Nobody's acting like there's anything wrong. I just want to clarify that. It's just weird behavior and I want to know what I want to know what's going on because I'm nosy. Okay. Um, I already have a pink flower. Don't want that. I don't know. I just thought like something. Oh, you know what? I did cut out a little butterfly the other day that I was going to put on my glue, on my grid page. And I don't think I used it. Did I just plop it in here? Where did I put that? I just cut out a tiny little butterfly. It would be perfect. Stay with me, folks. Oh, here it is. I found it. 
from a cut and collage book. Should I add that? Yes, let's add it. Or should I put it over here so it's like, no, it seems like it's just by itself over there. Okay, we'll just glue this really quick and then we'll call it a day. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, so cute. Oh, got a little crazy and I squished him. I will love him and squeeze him and call him George. If you know, you know. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I, I collaged and glue booked in my little board book. I highly recommend you try this. It is so fun. Another thing you can do is also gesso on it and then paint. Well, I just choked on my own spit. That's how excited I am to share this with you. <laughs> um, you can also paint on these. If you love to do like mixed media, you can put your painting papers down. Um, you can paint on this. You can do all kinds of things, you guys. You don't have to just glue magazine images. You can go crazy. Do what you like to do best. Have fun. That's what's most important. And definitely get your hands on some of these children's board books because so fun. And they look so great when you're all done. All right, everyone. I hope you guys have a fabulous day today. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to drink your water. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Also known as tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Okay. I'm going now. Like really going now. Okay. Bye, friends.